Now, okay, let's move to the letter D, the soul. Please say soul. soul. Another version is strength, no? In the multiplied version, they made it four. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. But in the original text, that is only three. Okay, but as we go along, that's the beauty of, of uh, you got this kind of one generation, it's being expounded. Okay, now basically, when we talk of Christianity, we're talking of responsibility and accountability as well. Okay? So basically, Christianity is responsibility and accountability. We love the Lord with our soul, with all our soul. Take note the word use of with all. Do not remove the, the word all. With all your soul by living a life of faithfulness. No? We love the Lord with all our soul by living a life of faithfulness. To all, okay, to all that the Lord has required of us. While loving the Lord with all our heart has to do with affection, loving the Lord with all our soul has to do with devotion. Okay? Amen? Amen. Are you following? Yes. Okay, are you following? Yes. Okay, now, the soul is the part of us and, and that defines who we are. The essence of the biblical definitions of the soul means life personality, the inner self, and our identity. It's where we make our decisions and choices that ultimately decide our lifestyle and behavior. Think of the soul as the core you. Okay? Think of that. Think of the soul as the core you. To love the Lord with all uh, our soul means to love Him in the very way we live in choices we make, and in the behavior and lifestyle we adopt. That's why we're always hearing this, or saying this, or reading this, that our gift, our life, is a gift of God. Amen? Amen. But the way we live is our gift of God. Because that is our expression of love, of feeling, of emotion, okay, to the Lord. So the, our life is a gift of God, the way we live is our gift to the Lord. Amen? Amen. Now, three ways to love God with all our souls. Okay? So just to, uh, uh, to go deeper a bit. No? Number one, by making godly choices. Okay? By making godly choices. This is what I'm saying. Huh? Now, how can you say your decision is God's will? Are you still with me? Yes. Are you still with me? How can you say that your decision is the will of God? Okay. Okay. Maybe if you found peace in your decision. Okay. And if it, well, if it answered the three questions that, I've been, uh, that I shared with you a while ago, it, does it threaten my faith? Does it give me more praises and honor and glory to God? Okay. Do I have more time in serving the Lord now? So, by making Godly choices. Our lives are the sum of the choices we make. Plain and simple. Oh, very good. I have the one in my ears. Praise God. Okay. Our lives are the sum of the choices we make. I decided to put this so that I don't need to open the Bible anymore. Plain and simple. Our choices show, show what we are committed to, and they reflect our core values, dividing us and displaying our lifestyle before the world. Huh? Christian maturity basically is not measured in our learning. Huh? That, that helps, of course. That is one of the benefits I know. It cannot be measured if you are active in the CCRT or not. Okay? But again, that is part of the manifestation. This is not the time to me. Christian maturity is measured in our values, in our lifestyle more so in our attitude. Okay? Amen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, praise the Lord, because you know something, that is our common problem. Here in the CCRC, because we are with the people who are praise the Lord, we are praise the Lord. But when we are at home, it is the Lord. Okay? <laughs> or sometimes in the workplace. Yeah. Okay? In the subway. You know, we need to be consistent in the Lord, with the Lord, and for the Lord. Whatever yeah. you are, whatever you do. Yeah. Why we need to be consistent? Always remember that full basic truth. That Jesus will come like a dip in the night. In Matthew 24, 43, 44. And our death will come like a dip in the night. James 4, 14. 
It's just like puff of the smoke. It appears in the beer. Okay. Have you heard what happened uh, recently? The shooting, the the, the you know the, uh, the the killings uh, all over the place. Are you exempted with that? Are you exempted with that? No. 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 I'm here. I'm still alive, healthy. But you're not sure. Maybe this is already my last time in the CCRG. You're not sure if we will see each other again. Maybe this is my last day in this world. Maybe I cannot come back here anymore. That's why I'm already sharing this with you. To say bye-bye. <laughs> but, but if God will bless me to be here, maybe it's you that I will not see here anymore. <laughs> but that is the truth. That is the reality. That's why we need to be consistent in the Lord. Don't just be in the Lord during prayer meeting, or in the church, or in the services like that. Yeah. Be consistent, wherever you are, whatever you do, whoever you are with, whatever is happening to you, always be in the Lord, with the Lord and for the Lord. Okay? Yeah. So that whatever happens, you're very sure that you will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. Amen.